Hello, I'm Amelie and welcome once again to my channel. Today I'm going to be watching episode 32 and episode 33 of The Untamed. That's right, you probably already read it on the title because it's right there. I am watching two episodes, one after the other. I'm going to post them also together. Uh, I'm going to be honest and I feel like... That's the way I start all of my reactions. I think if I go back to all of my reactions, I have started like 75% of them saying that I'm going to be honest. So I'm going to try to, to find another phrase. Um, but now I can't think of any. Now, now I'm under pressure. I can't think of a new phrase. So I'm going to, I'm going to have to be honest. Um, last episode pretty much destroyed me to the point that even if I thought about a specific things in the episode, like I will start to, you know, get teary eye a little bit. Like that's the level of how much the last episode affected me. Uh, it basically destroyed my soul. And from what I get in by the end of the episode and also what I'm getting by all of the comments that I've been receiving, things don't seem to be you know, they, they are, they don't get better this episode at least. So I didn't want to end another reaction, basically, uh, sobbing. So, and somebody mentioned that episode 33 has, you know, it's a little bit more like heartedness toward the end. So I'm going to you know, grasp that idea and use it to, you know, react to two episodes. So at the end of these reactions, at least I would be a little bit happier. That's all I want. That's, I don't mind suffering. Uh, uh, that's why, I'm, you know, I wouldn't be watching this show if I mind suffering. I like crying and I like the emotion, but uh, I also like knowing that eventually things are going to be right. I'm not the kind of person, I, listen, I'm not the kind of person who likes to watch things that end badly. So I hope this doesn't end badly in episode 50. If this, uh, this ends badly, if I watch 50 episodes for this to have a sad ending, if, uh, I'm, 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 I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, so essentially, I don't mind suffering, but I, I like having some light at the end of the tunnel. I like having thinking, oh, well, I'm suffering now, but things are going to be okay. So um, that's why I'm doing two episodes together, because I needed that little pep talk to be able to just sit down and watch this episode, because I'm remembering or going back to the first episode. I didn't actually rewatch uh, neither of the first episodes, uh, but I do remember some things and I do remember some of the things in terms of the characters that are no longer with them in the future of the show. So I already have some idea of some things that may happen in the next few episodes, uh, or at least some people that my died in a few episodes, in, in these episodes, essentially. Uh, and I think you know that I'm talking about Yan Li. And especially because when I think of things that would destroy my soul, like they would absolutely wreck me, I am pretty sure that her death is pretty out there. Um, so I'm, I'm almost certain that that might be something that is happening in this episode. Um, obviously the other thing that I think might be happening. I don't know if in these episodes, maybe soon, uh, it's obviously Wei Wuxian's dead. We know that he dies. We know that he dies <laughs> by the per pretty much the first scene. It is the first scene of the, of the show. Um, uh, so I have the suspicions that happens soon, essentially because of the clothing. I remember the first time I saw Wei Wuxian, I noticed how he was dressed and it's interesting that in the past few episodes, he has been dressing in a different way, like uh, using more like gray and more rough materials, obviously, because he has been leaving it rough a little bit. But for Jean Rulan's, what was, I still not clear what the celebration was, birthday celebration, I guess, one year celebration, I'm not sure. Um, for that celebration, he was wearing something that it was like more characteristic of him like what he used to use uh maybe before so i uh, i think i think we may be getting close to the end of the flashback i have the feeling and honestly 
Uh, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I, I feel like, uh, you know, let, let's look to the future a little bit. Um, so about last episode, I don't, I don't want to talk. I, go, <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to be honest. Stop saying that. Um, I don't want to talk too much about it because I may, I may start crying again. <laughs> so, um, the things that, uh, like, I hope they are resolved in this episode. First of all, is what happened to Ajuan, Ashwan. Um, I don't, I, I, we don't see him or I don't remember if, if I saw him like somebody carrying him when they left, but it wasn't in burial months when Wei Wushan, you know, woke up and, you know, went away. So I don't know when, uh, where Ashwan is and that is worrying me. The other thing that I, this is not something that I want to see, but I suspect that I might, is also uh, Lang Wenxi's reaction to what happened. Uh, because I can imagine that he must be feeling very guilty, considering that he's the one who signed the letter that brought Wei Bushan to, you know, uh, whatever happened to him. So um, I, I don't think he's going to be in a great, you know, emotional state. Uh, obviously anything to do with Yan Li and, uh, you know, what happened to her is also something, I, I know that it's probably something that we're going to see in this episode, but um, I don't want to, something that I absolutely don't want to see, like, <laughs> no, is, look, I I suspect that probably the genes are going to, you know, kill Wen Chin and Wenin, can you kill Wenin? He's already dead. Is he dead? Uh, it wasn't. It, it was never clear to me whether he was actually dead. I don't know if they can kill him uh, or the rest of the Wens. I really, I, I don't want to see that. I hope. My, I think the best thing that could happen in this episode, uh, like that is, I, I don't know. I, I don't know because I know that this is an episode that not a lot of people like to watch so I know that maybe it's not an episode that a lot of good things happen but my wish is that maybe at least Wei Wushan would arrive in time to save maybe either the the Wen people or maybe Wen Qin or or I don't know I I don't know I feel like I'm rambling again I feel like I'm rambling because I'm putting off starting the episode I feel like I did the same thing last episode so I'm not going to do it again I'm I'm going to start the episode I am ready I have my tissues with me actually do I have my tissues yeah here there uh, I had my t-shirt with me. I took my uh, migraine medication because for some reason, whenever I cried while I do a reaction, I get a headache. I don't know if it's the headphones. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> as, as if it wasn't enough to suffer during the entame, I also have to suffer after. So uh, I'm already ready for that. Uh, no, no headaches today hopefully. So I guess uh, I have no choice but to start this episode. Uh, so let's just, oh, let's just go. I'm watching on uh, Netflix. I am uh, skipping the intro. So I'm started uh, right after the intro. I'm putting the timing in the video for those who are, you know, watching a different platform or maybe for people who want to skip to a different part of the video, they want to skip a certain part. That is something that I haven't thought about it, but yeah, I mean, obviously you can do that. You can skip to a certain part of the uh, of the video and then just you know skip uh, with the timing in the video that appears in the video to that part of the reaction. Uh, I guess that that is something that people can do. And I don't know. I mean, I don't know why I'm thinking about that, especially for these episodes. Why would you want to skip? And I can definitely tell that these episodes are not something that people want to react. It's definitely because uh, there's definitely not that many people watching, like even less than that usually watches my videos. Uh, and that is something else. I, I haven't said it before because uh, it's pretty recent, but I also got to the a um, hundred subscribers, which I don't know. I know that in the grand scheme of things is not that much, but to me, it, it's so, it seems like so many people. So I'm really grateful uh, for that. So <laughs> thank you to the more than, slightly more, this is slightly more than hundred people who follow me. Uh, that is, that is great. Um, I'm so, I'm so sorry that sometimes you have to put up with me. So um Again, I, 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 I don't know if you noticed, but I keep making, I keep 
postponing starting this, but no, we are starting this. Let's go in three, two, one, and go. That's it. We are in it. I cannot press play. We are not stopping. For some moment, I thought that was like a modern city, and I was like, did I, did I went to modern times? Oh no, already the music. Oh, he, he's right there. There are, well, I guess he, I was going to say there's no security, but I guess, uh, he's, he's a pretty, he's a pretty, uh, you know, skillful guy. He he can he can slip in. Oh. So he did kill them. Stupid! Why I keep talking instead of reading? I mean, I know why I do it because I forget that I don't speak Japanese and I can understand it. Oh. Well, that, that, oh no, she looks so sad and kind of mad, to be honest. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, put Madame Jean too. Because, I mean, it was, I'm, I'm already tearing up. It was his only son too. Oh, of course she won't. No, she's going to stay. Oh. What minute is this? I'm already crying. I think this had been like two minutes. Oh. I mean, that must be terrible. Oh. Oh. And also she gave me the impression like maybe she's someone, you know, who maybe lived for her son. Oh, I mean, he was, he was right there. Oh, I, I mean, I did, I didn't thought that he would, I thought he would go the other way. Oh, I remember it's so difficult for Yang Li to, like, on the one hand, she loves her brother so much, but on the other, obviously, she also loves her husband, and all she knows is that, you know, Wei Wuxian was involved in that. So it must be, it must be pretty tough for her. Also, security in that place pretty much non existent. Oh no! What is that? Is it like losing control? I'm not surprised. Oh. Oh. Oh, is that is that a hallucination or is it still? 
Is it actually here? Uh, no, I think it's an hallucination. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I would say, if there was one moment to lose control, this is definitely out. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Why? I mean, I, I, I knew that they were going to kill them. Was that necessary? Oh, there he is. I don't think he's going to be happy. Oh, no, he's going to see the bodies. Oh. I'm trying to see whether maybe a Shuan is one of them, but they are, would they show a child hung? Oh no! And there were so such nice people. Like, what did they do to them? Oh no! This is going. He's going to lose a lot of control. Yeah, these guys are dead, I think. Yeah, there we go. The the resentful energy. Oh, is that his blood? Oh, oh. And the worst part is that I have, I mean, I think by just whatever is happening here, we can see that, you know, I don't think we have ever seen, like, Wei Wuxian fighting to his full power, because I think maybe fighting to his full, to his full power mean losing some of the control that he has on the resentful energy. And I think that... Up to this point, he has never been willing to that. Or, I don't know, maybe when he was killing Wen Chao and all of that. But I don't know. Oh, oh no. Not the neck. You know how I feel about necks. Not that noise. That noise I don't like. What did he do exactly to them? Oh. Like, oh. oh no, he's going full, like, full crazy. I hope at least he kills Jingwen Jing Shao. Jingwen Shao? No, Jingwen Shao is the son. Um, Jingwen Shan. Like, at the very least, I think that's what should be happening. What is that? Was was Nightly City? Yeah, I'm so sure that this is this is where Wei Wishad is going to die. Um, this is where the Wens used to live, right? Yes. And everybody's there, right? What are they doing there? Ugh. Guess this is like um no, I'm not sure what's happening here. Is that an imagery? I think he, oh he is Well oh there is Site Leader Jao too. 
Ugh, I can stand this guy. Well, no, yes, I still stand it. I can stand it. Yeah, not even looking at him in the eyes. Suspicious. I think there's some unfinished business there. Oh no, Wei Wuxian is going to break this party. No, what is it break? No, crash. He's going to crash this party. Where's Lang Wenji? Looks pretty impressive, I have to say. I'm still not sure. Okay, I guess that must have like some symbolic significance. I should find out more about like the Chinese traditions related to that. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, please don't tell me they're going to show anything. Oh, okay, they're ready. Oh, no. That was... There must have been ashes on everyone. Like, that was disgusting. Just throw them away somewhere else. Okay, so not everybody is very, very happy with, with whatever that was. I mean, they were... Obviously, I know that they're not happy for some other reason, but I wouldn't be happy if somebody threw ashes at me. Oh, no. I can't believe Wen Yin and Wen Qin are dead. I mean, wait wait a minute. Wen Yin is not dead. He, he appeared in the first episode. So what what the hell is that? He said he did say that there were the ashes of Wen Yin and Wen Qin, right? No, oh, I have I'll have to check after. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh, these guys are are alive. I would have killed them. Oh, oh. Oh no. He's how does he know he's there? Where is this? I thought this was Nightless City. I am very confused this episode. Oh. Oh, so this is the reason why he put them all together like he's going to work on. Oh no. I mean, that is quite an entrance, I have to say. Oh no, not the crazy laugh. Nimi Dre look as, as handsome as ever, Lan Shishen too. Why 
why do they call him Weyin and not Weiwishan? Like, is that like a sign of disrespect, not calling him by his, um, what do you call it, the other name? I mean, that is true, but in this case, I think it's justified. Ugh. Every time that I see this guy's face, it's like, ugh. That is, uh, the, were they a thousand? I don't remember that. Maybe they didn't show it. That is a fair question. Ugh, what, what are you having an opinion again? And how many people did they kill? The, like, the whole, um, ref, the whole Wens refugees and all of that? Like, they still killed them and they were innocent. So who are they to say that? I'm talking about the guards because they weren't innocent, definitely. Ah, oh, he doesn't have anything to say about that. I mean, he predicted because it was the right thing to do rather than what everybody should have done. Yeah, no, he didn't. Who is this guy? Why are you? Why are you saying anything? That is true. Why would he want to kill that guy? Why is this guy so happy? I don't like that. Like, the, again, I don't know what they think he did. What? what oh. Look who's talking about compassion and sense of empathy. Like, oh. 
who are you to be disappointed? Go fuck yourself. No, well, I can't stand these people. We wish and kill them, please. Not all of them, but definitely a few deserve it. You and I, are, who are you? Who are you? It's like, who the fuck is these people? I don't get it. Oh no, again with the with the, with the laugh. That is also a good question. Oh no. <laughs> Obviously, he doesn't know it, that guy. Oh, what? What? What the hell was that? Who was it? Oh, this piece of shit. What nice shot that was. Uh, even, like, by standards, like, honor and all of that, like, he was just talking. He was in the middle of a sentence. Yeah, that is not, that is not going to cut it, I'm afraid. Oh, throw it back. Throw it back. Is he going to throw it back? Yes. I shouldn't be happy about this, but, you know, I I get whatever happiness I can get from this. That that guy threw an arrow at him in the middle of a sentence. Like, they weren't even in, in, like, in the middle of a fight or something. Yeah, I don't think I have seen anything yet. Oh, what? What was that smile? I don't... Uh, that's what I don't trust, that guy. He has the weirdest reaction to things. I, it, no, I don't want to say anything. I'm going to leave it for the end of the episode. But uh, I, I will have something to say about that soon. I'm going to write it down because I'm going to forget to say it. Yeah, you're all you guys are all screwed. I mean, and it's interesting that neither of like the main like Lan Shishen, Ni Min Jue, uh Shang Chen and who else is there? I think they're all three. Um they are not like the ones openly attacking, but they are also not well, that that that's the end of what I was saying. I guess now we are openly attacking because resentful energy. How do you even fight that? Like they're ghosts. Oh, well, I guess with a sword. Oh, I, how we see? Yeah, I guess we saw uh, Lan Shishen fight during the Sunshot campaign. Oh, they are forming a little circle. That is, that is so precious. Someone else I want to die after. Like, I, I, I know that I'm going to suffer, and I'm going to. Some people are going to die that I don't want to. But can we please kill Jing Wanshan and and sick leader Shao? Like, um, well, no. I don't know about Selir Shao. Like, no, yes, let's kill Selir Shao too because he was a piece of shit just now. Although he is entertaining. The thing is, I, I have the feeling that the more he uses resentful energy, like, the more, like, uh, how can I say this? Like, the more it's going to affect him, like, the more unstable he's going to be. 
there was a guy literally just shaking his sword, just just shaking it, just shaking it to the air. I like how the all of the youngs are are together, like in their little group. Is that like a snake? Oh, oh. Yeah, I mean, no shit. Obviously, it's not attacking the youngs. Ah, that is an, one annoying sound. And you know what? Considering all of the things that I think he could do, like, um, <laughs> I, I don't mean to laugh, but I have the impression that when they filmed this scene, like, they they weren't clear about where the, the resentful energy was going to be, so they just told people, like, shake your swords around, like, to the air, because there is a lot of uh, sword shaking when there is no resentful energy at all. I, I, I don't, I didn't mean to laugh, but... <laughs> You know, it's just it's just an interesting image. Where is Lang Wen Ji? He was coming, right? I was saying, um, I think considering all of the, the things that I think Wei Wushan is capable of doing, I think just conjuring some shadow think oh no, there is Lang Wen Ji. Oh, Oh, I don't think Wei Wushan is going to be too happy about it. Because as usual, I think he's going to misunderstand why he's there. Oh, what? They are in a roof, like they started it. I don't think Lang Wenji wants to have a real fight. See, I, I think Wei, uh, Wei Wuxian uh, thinks that Lang Wenji is there like, to attack him or something or to stop him, but I, I'm not so sure. Like, I think he wants to stop, the, stop him, but maybe more for himself, like for the damage that he's going to make to himself. And also real, really brave to go up there, like, in person to stop him, right, on the roof, rather than, I don't know, whatever the, other, the others are doing. Oh, that's impressive. That's the same thing that Jiang Cheng was doing when they were fighting. See, I think he's more worried about him than anything else. What? Oh no! Please tell me that's not Chen Li, but yeah, it is Chen Li. No! Oh no! What is she doing there? Oh 
Oh no. Oh no. I mean, like, right in the middle of the battlefield, like, no! Oh. Oh, this piece of shit. Oh, was that? Oh, he's defending him. Oh, you see, now he has to believe that he's on his side, like... No, that is so dangerous. Why is she there? Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't like what this is going. I don't like what's happening. Oh, just, again, that guy just shaking his sword, like, over his head. I guess, you know, whatever works. What, what is this? Who is this? Is he wearing, let me see the color that he's wearing. I am I am almost certain that he was wearing yellow and I, th I think or white no could he wear in white I guess so but I mean obviously it's not him playing they have to see that he's not playing Oh no! Puppets! Ugh. Disgusting. Oh no, but they are going to think it's him because it's the same thing that he did in the One Shot campaign, like control the puppets to fight the others. Oh. Where is St. Yan Li? Oh, please tell me they don't find her, like, like dead. Oh, no, she's alive. But it's not him. He's not doing that. Oh. oh, there he is. Oh no 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 Oh 
But he's not controlling them. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, and, it, and it's one of her own. He, he's wearing young colors, right? Oh, no. No. Oh. No. Like, I knew it was coming, but... Oh, no! Oh, well, at least... Oh, no! But it's not him controlling them. Can he stop them? Oh. And probably the worst thing is that she was there because she wanted to help him. Like, even after knowing that maybe she ha he has been involved with the death of Shin Sichuan, she still wanted to help her. It's not him! That's what I was going to say. Like before, you would just have like these smoke things that they were just pushing people around. I don't think they were killing anybody. There was somebody else controlling them. I'm so, uh, I'm so sure I know who it is. I'm not going to say. Oh. That song. <laughs> and yeah, the who all said you piece of shit. <sighs> oh. oh no, this is <sighs> no. Yeah, that is not the right thing to say, I don't think. Oh, no, no, that. No. Oh. Oh. And can you imagine Jiang Chen too? Like, he lost his sister and now he thinks he lost his brother too because... You know, he blames him for killing her, although it wasn't him and it wasn't his fault. Oh. Oh, that was that, that was excessive.
I did not need to see that. Oh, okay. That that is the end. <laughs> um, no, stop, stop. I mean, I'm watching the next episode, but um, <laughs> let me. Um, okay, so that was the end of episode thirty-two. I think you can tell. I don't think I said a lot, but um, it was just. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I I'm I I think very much in this last few this this last few minutes was just me sobbing. So, um, yeah, this is this is where we are at it. I'm going to take a very short break, and uh, then I'm going to be back <laughs> because I need to, um, I don't know, wash my face at least and calm down a little bit and maybe uh. You know, well, for you, it's not going to pass any time, but I need to take some time to, you know, just take a deep breath and, uh, I don't know, <laughs> essentially uh, stop crying. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back with some thoughts and then episode uh, 33. Okay, I'm back. I think I have recovered slightly. That was... <sighs> okay, and even the fact that... Look, I knew that Yandi died. If it wasn't in this episode, it was going to die in the next one. I was pretty sure that's the, the bad thing that was going to happen. But it was so much worse than I imagined. Like, so much worse. Like, I assumed that she may be... I don't know, died of sadness. I don't. I. I. I didn't realize it was going to be this violent, and the context was going to be this sad, and uh, everything. Just everything about it was horrible. Like if it wasn't enough, everything else that was happening in this episode, I. That was that was something else. And if there was something that was going to push Wei Wushan to the edge, it was going to be this. Um, so I think that's pretty much what we are going to see next. Just essentially him just, you know, lost to it. Um, so we had somebody playing the flute and I have two suspects for that because I am, I will have to see the scene again. Um, but I'm pretty sure it was someone either wearing yellow is definitely someone wearing a pale color i couldn't see it was in the dark so i couldn't see exactly a color but i think it could have been a jean color and i think you know who i think it was because there was a little rat wearing a stupid hat that was somehow smiling in the middle of this when everybody was going to attack Weiwishan. so i think you know pretty much who i'm hinting at as the the flute player it was either him or that piece of shit jing wen shan um uh, but what is interesting is that it implies that somebody else knows how to, i mean that somebody else has the ability to do to you know what how was it called to to manipulate resentful energy to do demonic cultivation that's uh what we do. So there's something, someone else that is capable of doing that. I, I'm pretty sure. I mean, obviously, my eye is on Jingun Zhao because that smile. That's that's the thing about Jingun Zhao. It's like something. I I see how he acts a lot of the time. He does a lot of suspicious things, especially now that he's a Jin. But it to me is is the 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 stupid smiles that he do when nobody's looking at him like the small gestures that make me you know suspect him essentially so that's that's where my eye is at i think uh, it, it's either him or his father or you know somewhere there's not that many people left to be honest of the jeans so uh, that is where i mean uh don't tell me if it's a surprise. <laughs> if it's if it's a surprise, my God, uh, don't tell me if it's obviously it's going to be a spoiler. But um, you know that that's just my hypothesis. I, I that little smile that he did when Xing Wenshan said they they were going to attack Wei Wishan, that was something else. So, um, 
that that's where we are at. Um, okay, so let's watch episode thirty-three. I hope. Um, I mean, what can I say about this episode? I don't think it's uh, can, can it can it go lower than this one? I don't think. I don't think this to me was pretty bad. Like I don't think. To be honest, I'm I'm glad I I, I can watch the next one right away. Like um, um, so you know because the last one was pretty bad so i hope this is uh, i don't know this is going to well it's not going to take my mind out of it because i'm still watching it but i don't know i hope i hope it made me feel a little bit better uh at the end of this hopefully um okay so let's just watch episode 33 we are uh, still on netflix obviously i skipped the intro uh so i am a minute two minute one i think one second that's around where i am i i I put the new time in uh in the video too so you can follow it from there and uh that's that's pretty much all let's just uh, watch episode 33 and um no wait a minute can we talk about lang when she defending wei wushan like i know wei wushan at the beginning thought that you know lang when she was just there like the rest of them just to capture him or capture him or something but i think he proved him that he was actually on his side like he was willing to fight everybody else just to to keep himself uh, and things like that no, oh, no i'm going to start crying again so let's just not talk about this anymore let's just go to the episode so i i don't start another episode crying um so uh, again, the video is going to be in the uh, the video. Obviously, the video is going to be there. The timing of the the video I'm watching is going to be in the video on YouTube. So let's just let's just start. Let's just start um, before I keep forgetting how to speak English. Uh, okay, so let's go in three, two, one, and go. Oh no! Why? <sighs> I'm not going to skip the recap, but I, I think you can tell that it affected me. No, and this again, not the next stuff. No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, well, dessert. Oh. Oh. oh no what what are you talking about he didn't cause the what, what is this shit that is being thrown around yeah he's going to lose it I, I again at all of this, where is Win Jing Wen Shan? I think he took off. I think he just gave the order to attack and was like, well, see you later, I guess. And he just left. Oh. Yeah, Wen Ji, please defend. Oh no, not not the not the the crazy eyes. Yeah, that is not a good sign. I like how they are like shaking their swords at a distance. I didn't mention that, but I, I there's there's very little of the past episodes that I enjoy, but the sword shaking that's probably that's probably my favorite part. Like I know they technically are fighting like this. I don't know smoke things, this energy, but still.
Oh no. You see, that's the problem. Now the Lang, la, the Yan Li is gone. I feel like you know, whatever, whatever thing was stopping him of being completely possessed by the resentful energy. I think it's gone. I think that he's going to give himself completely to it now. Oh no. Yeah, and, and that's not good for him. Oh. Ugh! How dare you! Oh! Oh! That... That was... Oh. Yeah, that's what you wanted all alone. That's the only thing that they wanted. All of this, I think it was an excuse just to take the Stygian Tiger from him. Oh, just Lang when she cut in throats. Yeah, that's... Uh, oh, I hate everyone so much. I don't know. I don't know why suddenly Sick Leader Shao is like one of the main characters of this show. Like, why are we showing him so much? I suspect he's is he going to do? Oh, that was that was cool. That looked really nice. Oh, just broke it. Just destroy it? No, he didn't destroy it. Just broke. Oh, it just oh, this, this is in the beginning. I remember this lizard. Oh, yeah, I definitely remember that. This is the beginning, so we are finally at the beginning. Yeah, I remember that guy too. Didn't last it long. I wouldn't try to grab it. Like, evidently, you know. It doesn't lead to anything good. Oh, yeah. No. I don't know the... I, I, I don't know the names or any of the actors because obviously I I haven't wanted to look too much into it, but the guy who plays with Shan is... Uh, he's doing a great job, I think. Oh no, 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 I already know this. No, I know this already. Oh no. No. Like, I already know what's going to happen and... No, no, no. Oh, no. And they also show a lot of, like, more details. Like, I don't remember if we saw him, like, crying. Oh, no. And also the fact that now we know why he did what he did, like why he was driven to do this. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, and also his hand is slippery because of the blood. He doesn't want to let go. Oh, this is so much worse than at the beginning. Oh, no. He's not going to let go. Oh, no. <laughs> like, I mean, I know... I see where he's coming from, but uh, to me it was evident that it wasn't Wei Wuxian's fault, but maybe also Cheng Cheng, Shang Cheng blames him not only like the actual stuff, but also like the whole situation that he created the situation that put her in danger and did all of that. Oh no. And the worst part is where Wishan really wants to die, like he knows that Chang Cheng I mean, I think he knows why Chang Chen like he knows that he's not happy. Oh no. <laughs> And this remind me to the episode after Oh I, I thought Oh So um, Oh And the fact that even Chang Chen is is horrified like he wanted to do it, but the moment he he realized, like, he, he looked horrified. Oh. So, did he hit the rock, and maybe was he going to make, like, Lang Wenji fall or something like that? Is that why we wish let go? I think that what 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 it was. Oh, no. Oh, 16 years later. I can't believe that was the longest fucking flashback that i ever seen. I can't believe we're back here. Like, I feel it has been 300 years. Oh, he's playing. I, I, I mean, that is Lang Wenjin, right? Who's going to be playing the Gujin? Oh, oh! He's there too. And Lang when she was waited for him for sixteen years. Well, I don't know if waited because he was dead, but like, let's say, pain for him for sixteen years, and now he's there. <sighs> oh, he's remembering. Yeah, we need we need a reminder. Oh no! Look at Chin Rulan. Oh, Nin. Oh. Oh, I don't remember that. Oh.
Oh, that song. Oh, look at soft lang when she looks. Oh. Yeah, you're not wearing the mask. And he already knows who you are. Like, obviously he knows who you are. Oh. I can't believe you're back to the present or the future, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean. Oh. I don't know what it is about um, Lang Wen Shi that, like, I know that it's the same actor and I know that obviously no time has passed for them, but he actually looks older. I don't know if it's the makeup or something like that. Mui Wushan looks the same, which makes sense. But uh, the, the actor who plays Lang Wen Chi, or rather Lang Wen Chi, I don't know what it is. He looks older to me. Oh. Oh, why three years later? What happened before that? Like, what happened during those three years? Yeah, thank you. I guess we're not, we're not talking about it. Oh, <laughs> Oh. Mm, no answer. Interesting. That was, that must be significant. That looks nice. I mean, I guess Langshan never believed that he could use demonic cultivation or demonic energy without hurting himself. So I guess in that sense, he never actually believed in him. I think maybe that's the only explanation that I can find to that. Oh, that's beautiful. That language, just oh, just sitting there playing the good chin. Can you imagine, like, especially knowing everything that happened right after he died and then you wake up? Like, was he, oh, I don't know if this is something that maybe it's answered in the book or something like that, but how aware, was he aware during, while he was dead or it's just like he was dead and now he's here? I have to read the book. Oh, is he remembering? Oh, he was so young. Oh. Remember the first episodes? Like, everything was so happy. Like, you know, not, not the first and the second, but, like, the whole uh, arc at Cloud Recesses, like, while they were there, that was so happy.
Oh. Oh no. Gently is also there. <laughs> yeah, admire his talents, right? Oh, I have forgotten all of this. <laughs> oh, Yanli. I'm still not over that. I think it's going to take a while until I see Yanli and I don't start crying. Oh. And they were so happy, the three of them together. And I also think like Yan Li was kind of a buffer between the two. So I really can't imagine how the relationship between Chang Chen and Wei Wishan, like, well, I guess we saw it after Yan Li, you know, uh, no, but she was there after the Sunshot campaign. Yeah, I don't really, well, obviously now, now I don't think. They they have much of a relationship anymore. Oh. This is killing me. This whole walking around and remembering things. Oh, when <laughs> he made a drawing, and he showed him pornography. Oh, you see, I th I think Langshan looks a lot younger than. I don't know if it's something about the makeup, like the makeup was a lot softer, and now maybe it's a little bit sharper. I don't know what it is. Oh, they're bunnies. Are they? Almost kissing, I guess. Oh, now are they kissing? Oh. Oh, no. We we shan't. Don't interrupt them. They were doing their own thing. I think it's Tusa is, is rabbit. Is, I think Yao is like small. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten that far in my Chinese. Oh, Fadi Daddy. How long has it been since he called him that? Feels like ages. <sighs> I have to say, I do think uh, Cloud Recess is probably, uh, in terms of the the place, I think it's probably the most beautiful. Oh, was was that was way, what 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 what, what? was language there? Oh. He's not wearing a shirt. What? What is that? What the hell is that? Whips? What the hell is that? What happened to Lang Wenqi in these 16 years? What he has been doing? I did notice that, unlike the first time he was caught in the coal pond, whatever this is, um, he didn't just rush for the for his rose. He he waited a little bit. He I think he he gave Wei Wishan a little, you know, a peek. A peek of what's there. Yes, I want to know about that. I, I don't think he's going to answer. That's not like your language. He doesn't. He doesn't give a shit if you ask a question. He's not going to answer if he doesn't want to. Nope, he's not going to say anything. He's not going to.
Who's that? Oh, the the uh yeah the the they were they are the disciples. I remember them. And the roll chamber, nice. Oh, not not nice apparently. Oh, that's the boy from the beginning. I remember him. Oh well, how would you make his? You know, arrange his hair pretty quickly. Oh. Oh, yeah, I remember. Well, I remember because I've just seen it, but I did remember. Oh, okay, so it's, that's one way of opening the doors. I guess they were locked, not locked, they were maybe, they have a barrier or something. Okay, this this was a are they are they dead or just passed out? I guess. Well, we don't know. Oh no, is that Jiren okay? We haven't seen him in a while. No, I guess we saw we see we saw him a few episodes ago. So that's a pretty strong spirit, I guess. Oh, they're going to work together. Okay, he's alive. Just, you know, suffering. Oh, because uh, the Yilin Patriarch also played a flute. Oh, so he's just going to play, like, you know, his and Lang Shan song randomly. <laughs> like, what, what? Oh, I don't think it's like, language. what the hell are you doing? Is that working? Or is just making it, you know, it's just making things worse. Oh no, is he going to recognize him? Because, you know, there is not a lot of effort put into hiding his identity, I think. Oh no, he's just, she just doesn't like that. <laughs> so, shut up. <laughs> no. Okay, so I guess he, he wasn't playing very good. I guess, I guess Lanchuren is not a fan of the song. <laughs> that look, language she threw him. And again, I mean, obviously for the other, like the disciples and everything that they didn't know Wei Wishan 16 years ago, but come on, Lanchuren has seen Wei Wishan before. He's dressed exactly what as Wei Wishan is dressed. He has a flute, I guess. I don't think just because you're playing a different song, he's not going to recognize you. I think. I, I guess. I guess that's why he was wearing a mask in the first few episodes. Oh, the... I guess that's it. Oh, he has such nice hands.
So I guess they calm the spirit. How could it be infected with that? What happened with the stigian amulet? Like, I knew, I remember he threw it, but he didn't destroy it, right? So, realistically, someone might have it, let's just say. Yeah, maybe drop it. Maybe drop it, don't touch it. I don't think, yeah, good. Oh. Okay, we are back. We are back to the mask, which is smart because, you know, although, again, as I said, everything else about him obviously screams where we shan't. But I guess most people that knew him 16 years ago, they're not around. Well, Lanturin is, ooh, I like that. Uh, whatever he's wearing, we have never seen him. Like, so, uh, that obviously did something to my brain. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I don't know what happened there. My brain just went, in, you know, it, it, it something happened there. Um... We have always seen him like wearing all of the all of the uh, layers and all of that. So, you know, interesting. I like how Hamun, like uh, Lang Wenxi, can control everyone just with a look. Are those two women? I don't think we have ever seen like women, or maybe we have. They all were the same, but I think those two. Yeah, those two are women, right? I guess you wouldn't reckon it because again they were all exactly the same clothes, at least for disciples. So, I guess you wouldn't notice as easy. Just the way we shine in the background, hanging out on the bridge. That place is nice. Oh right, that's the then the, the name of the the person. He's he's pretending to be. And also the person who brought it back. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he's saying that somebody put the, the thing there in purpose. Oh, poor, poor Grandmaster. And also, I don't think it can be a coincidence that they put that sword that has like this Stygian amulet energy in the same place that Wei Wuxian appears, like the, the same place he's resurrected. Like that can be a coincidence. I guess I guess it could, but I don't know. Well, now he's wearing the mask because there's actually people who could recognize him. There we go.
I don't like Elon Musk. And again, I think it hides very little of Wei Wuxian. Like, I don't think the face is most important. You're dressed exactly like Wei Wuxian used to. You're using a flute. Of course not. That is a very good question. Oh, so he did destroy it. I thought, like, I, I knew that he broke it, but there was a part that was pretty big. I remember, you know, that part that everybody was trying to grab? Who is Shui Young? Oh, yeah, it came. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. So yeah, we never we never find out what happened to Yu Yang. Like we know that somebody, Ming Yao, let him go from the unclean realm, but um we never saw him again. So I guess we don't know what happened to him. Well, you were dead. Okay, so that means that he... Was was he aware that he was dead? I'm not sure. Okay, so there's somebody, like, backstage moving the strings or controlling the strings. But we, like, why? I yeah, Well, I guess that's what we're going to find out. Now. Oh, I like this too. How do you know? There we go, thanks. Oh, the sword showing you where to go? Can you touch it? Well, I guess you can. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, and it's still. Oh. <laughs> yeah, obviously it's not you. Look at you, imagine. Like, <laughs> in the end, it's all him. Like, who are you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh! I like this new, like, um, dynamic in the relationship. Like they are a lot closer than they used to, and a lot more playful. Or at least, obviously, Wei Wuxian is playful, and Lang Wen is more open to receive the playfulness, if that makes sense. Aren't they in town? What is that if it's not a town? Well, I guess maybe further into town.
I still remember like that episode of Lang when she was walking down the street and people just turning around and looking at him. What was that? <laughs> what? Lustreless? What are you talking about? Uh, the what? The what? <laughs> yeah, those those are not very good, I think. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a great way to put it. <laughs> yeah, they're all horrible, I think. <laughs> He's so offended. Like, I had the feeling that you could say anything to Wei Wishan, it doesn't matter, but... You show him those portraits, it's like, no, this is unacceptable. Oh, well, what the hell was that? Oh, it's Jean Rulan. Yeah, what is he doing there? That is nowhere near. Yeah, and he's not going to say anything. Okay, that is that is one hell of an attitude. But I guess he sees Wei Wishan as the person who killed his parents, so yeah, I guess that's where it's coming from. Oh. oh. Was he wearing the mask before? No, I don't think he was. But again, you know. I guess he only recognized him with a mask. Fairy! <gasps> Is that a dog? Oh no, I have forgotten where we should. Oh, that is a. What is that adorable little thing? Well, I don't, not so little, but <laughs> that was, that is an adorable dog. Like, oh, that, no, that was the end of it. No. Uh, <laughs> what a way, uh, what a way to end the episode. I loved it. I loved it. Like, um, what, what a complete change from the previous episode. Uh, like, oh, God. I am loving this. I'm loving like the change in dynamic between Lang Wenxi and Wei Wishan. I love the, maybe also the change of tone. Like, uh, obviously it's not as dark. It's a little bit more comedic now. Um, I'm loving that now we have all these characters that we have been introduced before. Like we have been introduced in the first few episodes, but obviously we hadn't had that much time to to get to know, like Jin Ling, Jin Rulan, I, I guess he goes by Jin Ling. I'm not sure. Uh, but also the, the Lam disciples and all of them. Uh, I, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. And I, 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 I guess now we are solving a mystery. We have to solve the mystery of this sword, I guess. And we know there's someone behind the scenes, like, you know, instigating things and making things happening like uh, i don't know i'm loving everything everything this obviously oh god i'm still <laughs> i'm still a wreck because of what happens in the previous episode but this definitely is uh, a nicer end uh that if i had ended in where the other episode ended um so we still have some uh question i guess i, I would like to see like more of how 
the the world change in these 16 years. I would like to know more about what happened to Lang Wenqi during these 16 years. Um, like what's what's happening in the rest of the cultivation world? Where where are they? Is Sec Leader Zhao still there? Is Jing Wanshan still there? Uh, who else? Well, well, I guess Jiang Cheng we know. Uh, where is Diming Zhe? What is he doing? Is he still as handsome as ever? Like you know the important questions. Um, I still. I I I have to I have to admit that I had forgotten that Shui Shang existed. Um, although I I think I I said I mentioned him a few episodes ago and uh like I I knew he he I I remember that he was a character but I had forgotten that we never actually saw what happened to him so I guess that's another you know another possibility because he definitely is somebody who could control uh resentful energy or ethics you know, he was in that vibe of cultivation. So that is another possibility. I still think, I'm still so sure that I, I, I again, as I said before, I, I'm so sure that is Jing Gun Zhao, the one that he was playing the flute. Uh, this is, again, I'm basing this on the fact that the person was wearing some lighter clothing so i guess it could also have been xing guan shan who also conveniently disappeared the moment the action started um there is there is a some possible culprits for that but that little smile then xing guan shao made when uh xing guan shan gave the order to attack wei wei shan uh i can still take that out of my mind so that is stick there that is not going anywhere um Anything else? Uh, I will. I think it's going to be interesting to see the relationship between Shang Cheng and Wei Wuxian now. Obviously, we we know at the beginning, from the beginning that it's definitely not going to be a good relationship. But now, especially uh, after everything that we have seen um, and that we know about the relationship, uh, obviously, it's a lot more interesting to see that developing. Um, Wei Wuxian's dead. <laughs> A hundred percent more uh, sad, a hundred percent worse than it was at the beginning. Obviously, because I didn't know at the beginning, like I didn't do anything. I was, I was just, you know, happily ignorant of everything that had happened. So now that I know, and you got those little details that you didn't see the first time, it's oh my god, no, terrible, terrible. Didn't like it. Um, there are still a few mysteries that, and a few questions that have been unanswered. For example, we still don't know what happened to, um, Ashwan. I, I don't think uh, they ever show him, but the thing is, I have the suspicions that maybe it is implied that he died with a wens, but they wouldn't show, you know, a child, like the body of a child just hanging there. I suspect. So, I think maybe because he wasn't there in burial mounds when uh, Wei Wuxian wake up, I, I think he would have seen him. Uh, so obviously, I think they took him with her, with them, with the Wens. So I think the two possibilities that we have is either he died with them, or maybe they just left them somewhere when they went, you know, on the way there, like maybe in a different family or something like that, or maybe. I don't know. Maybe he didn't die. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to think of think of him dead. So uh, I'm going to prefer the the second option. So I'm going to believe that maybe even if we never told what happened to him, I'm going to assume that maybe he was adopted and now you know he's adopted by a family that didn't have anything to do with anything and they never got in trouble and he's happy and never got in, you know. Uh, in danger ever again and things like that. Uh, that's that's, I mean, unless we are said something else or we are revealed something particular about his future, uh, or rather, you know, what happened to him. Uh, that is the the future that I'm going to create for Ashwan. Um, but I suspect he probably died with the rest of the winds. Uh I, I don't know. I don't know if when Jim would take him, like, knowing what would happen. I don't know if... Well, I guess maybe 
she she may have assumed they wouldn't kill a child, but I wouldn't put it past them because the genes are a literal piece of shit. So who knows? Um, okay, that is all I have to say. I am I am very excited about uh what's happening now in the show about this new part of the show that seems to be a lot. You know, not a lot, but it seems to be a little bit lighter and I definitely needed that. I needed this so much because the previous episode just wrecked me. It destroyed me. Um, so that's it. I've, I've been, I've been talking for, uh, almost two hours now. So I am going to shut up and, um, um, I think I'm going to go to sleep and edit this tomorrow because it's, uh, four in the morning here. So, um, that's it. I hope you enjoy this. I hope, uh, you know, for those who stick with me up to this point, um, nothing. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you didn't suffer through my crying a lot, although I know I cried a lot. And, um, I, I know that, especially for the first one, I didn't spoke as much because I honestly, it was just sadness. There was, there was nothing else that I could express. Uh, so that's it. That's it. I'm going to be back next week with, uh, episode 34 and 35. Is it, is, um, is that right? 30, 33, 34. Yes. Uh, for a moment, I forgot how to count too. So, uh, next week, episode 34 and 35. Obviously, in two different days, we're not doing for, for now. Maybe if there is some other, like, big cliffhangers in an episode uh maybe uh i'll do the same uh if, if anybody says you know watch these two episodes together i think i'll probably do the same uh but for now we continue with one episode each day two episodes a week uh and that's pretty much it thank you for uh staying with me and i'll see you next week Bye bye